All right, y'all, we are back here at uh, DDE. We're gonna be doing some powder coating today. Uh, first things first is the kit that we have. All right. Tell you everything about it when you get your kit. We used it uh, prior to the, like, just as like a little test. I think that's pretty good. Looks like it's coming pretty well. So. Test thing, and yeah, it came out really good. This is a UV white. So today we're going to be doing the upper and bottom plenum for the PT Cruiser, the 09. We already got it baking in there. We're just baking off any oils, any fingerprints, just baking anything off that's on it. These were already cleaned very well. And so we're just uh, baking all that off. We had it baking for a good uh, 20, 30 minutes at 450. But now we're just letting them cool down. But just to go over with the kit with you. A good, nice little instruction manual. Your air gun. That's how I got a little stool set up over here for everything. down here because he knows way more about this than me. Alright guys, so like I was saying earlier, the first step on any like engine parts is going to be to bake them off of any cleaners or anything like that. Be sat for a good 25-30 minutes at 450 degrees. And that was the part metal temp too. And then the next step, if you don't have if it's not like an engine car part, then you just have to get it sandblasted. Yeah. Like my shift knob got sandblasted and we got a couple more of the little parts here. They got sandblasted, but Dan's gonna go over uh, more about the, uh, what is it, Eastwood? Yeah, it's an Eastwood kit. I think at this point, uh, Harbor Freight sells one that's like almost identical to it. Um, basically, it's it charges the powder a different charge the opposite of what you charge the part so that way the powder actually like attracts to it real well and it goes in all the nooks and crannies and stuff like that so um it's pretty you, you got to have like low pressure i think it's about seven eight psi is like all they really need and you just basically put your powder in here um, and when you're going through hold this button and we'll attach this other lead we'll call this the ground lead basically so this will ground the part and then we will put a positive charge on the powder coming out so it'll really attract to uh, whatever part we're doing so really it, it like absorbs absorbs it kind of exactly you don't it's... waste as much and plus yeah like it will you know get into the small crevices and stuff like that uh, another thing is if you're doing like a two-part color it's really hard to get the powder to attract to the part after it's got a coating on it because, you know, the, the electricity doesn't flow through it. So, uh, yeah, this is kind of the setup you're going to need if you're going to do it like extensively. So, and that is the color that we are going to be doing today as well. So the finished color is called 
aluminum candy aqua. But to do aluminum candy aqua, you have to do a chrome first. Right, like that's going to be our base. And then this will be our finish. And then, so we'll see how it turns out. This is my only second time seeing powder coating myself. Yeah, this is like, this will be my first time doing a two-step part. So, uh, you know, we're still, still learning things here. So experimenting with it. So we'll see how it turns out. But looks pretty good. And we did get our, uh, all of our colors from all powder and stuff. All you do is choose your color, whatever powder color you want. And you screw it into that gun right there. And Dan will tell you the rest. I'm gonna take this and probably uh, maybe try to do individual pieces of it. That way we get a good charge on it. I'm gonna move this and try to attach it. A little cable right here. can tell it's working though the way the powder like attracts to the to the uh, the part that you're doing you can tell the difference between like when you're shooting powder and you're hitting the button or not because it will like attract to the part just try to get everything set up here so we can move around real nice and easy This is our first color, our first free base. It's a blue tint chrome. All right, next step would be to preheat the oven. On the bag it says what type of temperature. So we're gonna be at 400 degrees for 10 minutes. That's the 10 minutes is at the uh, part metal temp. But we can still come over here Turn it up to 400. Close the oven. Okay, we got the oven preheated. Now we're just gonna easily move that rack into the uh, oven. We got your stand visible. And this is blue tint chrome, so we're gonna see how that looks out. Now that 
we got that in there. It's got to bake for about 10 minutes. So I will bring the camera back right as soon as you can start to see it flow, like how it looked like it was uh, matte color. Yeah. Uh, I'll bring it back and it'll start to flow. It'll look like liquid. And I'll bring you all back when that starts to happen. It roughly happens in about three to five minutes. <clears throat> We also go to do the same thing for our intake, the bottom plenum and the top plenum. I think if we take it and hang it like that, we can get all the way around the part and do it that way. That'd be better than it just laying on the rack itself. Yeah, we won't be able to get the bottom side or nothing, so. So I think Dan's on to something, so let's just help Dan real quick and we'll bring you back when we got something figured out. All right, guys, they've been in there for only a couple minutes, but I don't know if you can see that. It's already, like, really shiny and smooth. We'll see how it looks like when it turns out. We only got, like, eight more minutes. But it's looking actually really good. Already moving on to the next piece. Yeah. Show the color up front. This is what it looks like now. It's just a aluminum intake manifold. It almost looks like gray primer, right? Okay. That's why you gotta have yourself get, get yourself a professional, because they'll tell you, no, nah, it's not good. Dan Biz was putting in the lower plenum that we already got covered. Oh, I still got the other four under. Oh, son of a bitch. didn't hold up. No. All right, we did get the lower plenum back in. It's heating up pretty nice. It's at 3, 330, 350. Just let that get up to 400 and then we'll start the timer and show you how awesome this chrome looks. All right. We got the top of the intake bacon. It's only got about five minutes left. We got the bottom intake. All chromey. Alright guys. We got the top plenum of the intake. Manifold's all done. It's just sitting out here drying right now. 
The blue is because there's really blue on the ground. It doesn't have that much blue hue to it. It's really just like polished. Yeah, it's really just like a blue tinted shine, you know? Yeah, like you get it right there. Yeah, see in the shine right there? It really does it. But we're letting this uh, cure out a little bit longer. Uh, get the heat off of it, and then we'll be powdering it again with uh, the blue, aluminum blue candy. So we'll get back to you then. We got Dan Bizzle already coating the top plenum. It's really weird how it sticks on these secondary coats. It's, it's acting like it's not getting the good enough adhesion to it. Like there's a break in between the connectivity. But it's still looking pretty nice. Yes, sir. Damn bizzle on the job. We'll come back at you when we put it in the oven. I'm gonna open up the oven. We're at 244 right now. We still got a little ways to go. That one's probably heating up pretty quick. 390 on that one. 